These babies are starting to show me signs that they are ready. <laughs> yes, you are so ready. They are ready to come out of their well-being box. Especially Mr. Red. Yes, he's like, I'm ready to come explore. They love getting to come out, which we do every day, but yeah, they're so tiny, so. I wanted them to stay in a little bit longer just to make sure before they have a really big area to be in. Hello, Blue. Yes, and Blue Boy, too, has really wanted to explore a little bit more. This is Harriet and Griswold, F1 mini Bernadillo puppies. We're expecting their weights to be between 20 and 35 pounds. You're just going to keep talking to me until I get you out, aren't you? And as you can see, they're super active. They're almost four weeks old. And they're like, oh, yes, see, Blue's almost going to make it. Yeah, if you had somebody else to stand on, you'd be over that, wouldn't you? They're so fun to watch because they're very playful with each other right now and with me. We're doing all sorts of different textures and sounds. And we're going through what I call the pterodactyl stage where the way that they act towards one another, they still don't have teeth so they're not hurting each other, but this is a normal stage that they go through where they they're starting to get their little growls and barks. <laughs> Just like that. It sounds like, oh no, puppy fight. <laughs> and they're starting to get yes to where they want. They want their people. Mm -hmm. They'd be much more involved that way. We started um, supplementing with um, adding some powdered puppy food I just grind up to the goat milk that they get every day. Yes, and they're liking that, and that's part of why they're talking to me so much, because they're like, we want our breakfast first, but I thought we better do videos, because breakfast is really messy. Hi, Mr. Chocolate. <laughs> Hello. And this guy is just so fun. <laughs> I just love this stage. He's very vocal when he gets... When he thinks that somebody's wrapping him up. Let me see if I can get him to do it. It's like he's got a little motor. See, yep, we're not going to do it on camera. No, it's like not in the mood. Now you could just sit here all day and watch him and their little antics. And our Miss Turquoise here, she tends to be the calmest so far. Um, all of this starts to change as they start to become aware of their world. Hmm. But so far right now in the Welpy box, you want to pull her out and work with them. Hey, babe. Good job. I think that must be Miss Purple. Either purple or green. Purple, green, and yellow look an awful lot of like. Might be green boy. Let's double check. Because sometimes, oh, I was right. That's Miss Purple. Yeah, green boy's right here. Oh my goodness, Blue. Come sit with me so you can chill out for a little bit. Yeah. But Miss Turquoise tends to be much more quiet and calmer with everything. She still gets in there and plays. <laughs> but she's not as... None of them are really rambunctious at this stage, but she just takes everything nice and slow. Unlike some of her brothers. <laughs> it's hard to believe. I mean, he's just so tiny. You are so tiny, little man. Yeah. 
I'm just always amazed at how well they're getting around. Here is our cream girl. Yes. And then this is our yellow. We're still not so sure on the eyes. I'm not sure if anybody's got blue eyes or not. And they kind of look blue right now. But um, still need probably another week before we can tell for sure if anybody's going to stay that way, huh? Are you wanna come out too? Is Miss Ebony. And green, you're just sitting so quiet. They love getting a new toy every day and just getting to explore different textures, different sounds. That's what this is all about at this stage. We're just trying to do lots of exposure in really good, positive ways so that they can grow up just being excited about it all. I can't stress that enough. This is what helps us to not have fearful dogs. Yes, it's very important. And right now they're all doing really good. I haven't found anything where they've, they've been a little bit cautious, but nobody's been really fearful. <laughs> Maybe we'll get to hear some of Chocolate's cute sounds. We did just a little bit. Yeah, I just need to have the camera on you guys all the time so we can catch it all, huh? Yeah, so by next week they will be out into their big nursery. I think they're gonna do that in the next couple of days. So like I said, they're ready to be able to have a lot more to explore and we can introduce the litter box. It's right now Harriet still keeps their area really clean but as I start to feed more dog food that's when mama start to say no thank you I'm not gonna clean that up. So the litter box will be really good and I think these guys are gonna learn it really fast. <laughs> 